Hey guys, what's up? It's Arlie and this is Alan. It's another how-to video. Today we're going to show you how to install the TPC812 with Vertical Vapor Chamber CPU Cooler to this EVGA2011 motherboard. Alright guys, so first off we're going to start off by describing the parts that we have here. You have your standoffs, you have your four nuts, you have your hex wrench, you have your anti-vibration pads in case you were to add an extra fan, you have your thermal paste, and right here you have your four screws for that extra fan, your universal uh, bracket for Intel or AMD, and your universal back plate for Intel or AMD. And right here you have your LGA 2011 standoffs, and last item that we have over here are the fan brackets. Now let's head off and start the installation process. Alright, for the first step, we're going to remove the fan off your cooler, just like so. And on the bottom, you should remove the sticker before you do anything else. I'm going to pass it off to Alan to show you how to install the bracket. Okay, if you guys look right here, there's a small hole where the bracket is going to fall into place. Now for the bracket, you'll see that you can do this for AMD, this for Intel, and since we're going to be using the LGA2011 bracket, we're going to need to pull up on the locking springs right here, and make sure that they lock on the outward position. Do that for all of them. And then to install it into the cooler, you're going to squeeze it so it looks like that. And then when you put it in, there's a little stick that sticks out right here. You're just going to angle it, and when you slide it in there, you're going to make sure that it falls into that hole. And you just open it up like that, and it should lock a little bit in place. It's still going to be loose, but once you tighten it onto the standoffs, it's going to be tight. Now we have to install the LGA 2011 standoffs to the motherboard. Don't have to make them too tight, but just make sure they're secure so you just hand screw them in. Okay, now for this video, just for how-to purposes, we don't have a CPU installed on there. But if the CPU were to be on there, that would be the next step after the, the standoffs. And you would use the thermal paste and use a business card to spread the thermal paste over the CPU. And once you get all the standoffs secure, you're going to place your cooler on top of it and line up the screws to the standoffs. And then you're going to use a screwdriver to secure them in place. Okay, now once your cooler is secured, be sure to attach the fan onto the back. Clips on just like that, so the airflow will go forward. And you're probably asking yourself why we didn't use a universal backplate, but for this motherboard, since it's a 2011 board, it already comes with a pre-installed backplate on there, so we didn't have to use it. For other motherboards where you would have to use the backplate, you would install it, you would use these uh, standoffs right here, and you would place the back plate underneath the motherboard and while you're securing the standoff you place it like that and use the nut to secure the back plate and the standoff just like that and once you have all that secured it's going to basically look like the couple steps that when we started this and you would place your cooler on top of that and there you have it now you know how to install your TPC cooler to your motherboard this is Alan and Arlie thanks for watching Later, guys.